Hello friends, welcome to the Viva Boss of Anatomy. Today we will see the mid genital section of a brain. But before that, we will see the parts of a brain. The brain is divided mainly into three parts. That is a forebrain, midbrain, and the hindbrain. Now the forebrain is again divided into two parts. The telencephalon that is made up of a cerebrum and a diencephalon that is mainly made up of a thalamus and the hypothalamus. The midbrain is connect, uh, connecting the forebrain to the hindbrain. And the hindbrain is made up of anteriorly pons in the medulla and posteriorly with the cerebellum. Now, we discuss the structure seen in the mid sagittal section of a brain. The first we see the structure seen in the uh, cerebral hemisphere on the median surface of the cerebral hemisphere. So you can see <coughs> the depressed area which is known as a sulci and in between the sulci there, there is a gyrus. The main sulci on the medial surface of the cerebrum in the mid sagittal section here you can see the C-shaped sulci in the upper part that arches above this cut arch fiber. This, this cut arch fiber is a corpus callosum. Just above it, there is a arch sulcus which will start anteriorly to the corpus callosum and it will end just above the pushy end of the corpus callosum. It will arch upwards. This is known as a cingulate sulcus. Now, just below the cingulate sulcus, there is a cingulate gyrus, which is separated, uh, separates the corpus callosum from the cingulate sulcus. Now, the cingulate gyrus is separated from the corpus callosum by a callosal sulcus. Okay. Now, in the posterior part, the one sulcus which starts just below and behind the posterior end of a corpus callosum, and it is going backwards with the convexities facing upward. This is known as a calcarine sulcus. Okay. Now next, from the middle of the calcarine sulcus, one or another sulcus will uh, arise which going backwards and the upwards, which is known as a parieto occipital sulcus. So these are the sulci uh, of a medial surface of the cerebrum. <coughs> now here you can see the cut part of a C-shaped structure. This is a corpus callosum. Now the corpus callosum are the commissural type of a white fiber which interconnect the different lobes of the two cerebral hemisphere. The corpus callosum is having the four part. The anterior most part is known as a genu. From the genu arises the thin bundle of the fiber which is going backwards and the downward which is known as a rostrum. The middle main part is known as a body or a trunk of the corpus callosum and the last massive part posterior extremity is known as a splenium of a corpus callosum. Now the corpus below the corpus callosum you can see the cavity which is known as a lateral ventricle. Okay. Now the two lateral ventricles are separated by one septum which is attached to the lower border, lower concave border of a corpus callosum which is known as a septum pellucidum. Here you can see the part of the septum pellucidum. Okay. Now below the corpus callosum and the lateral ventricle, here the part of the diencephalon, thalamus and the hypothalamus in which there is a exposed cavity of the third ventricle that we will discuss later on. The lateral ventricle is connected with the third ventricle through this foramina which is known as an interventricular foramina or foramina of Munro. Now we going backwards and downwards. This part is a midbrain. The cavity of the third ventricle is continuous with the cavity of the midbrain which is known as a cerebral aqueduct. And cerebral aqueduct below it is continuous or communicating with the cavity of the fourth ventricle which lies between the pons and the medulla in front and the cerebellum behind. So in the this three this uh, different part of the brain lies the different cavity. 
in the telencephalon lies the cavity of lateral ventricle between the two diencephalon lies the third ventricle in the midbrain lies the cerebral aqueduct and the hindbrain lies the fourth ventricle now the other structure you can see in the sagittal section here in relation to the third ventricle posteriorly you can see this small body this is called a, a pineal gland or a pineal body now here anteriorly you can see the rounded structure in the lower part in the base of the brain this is the mammillary body now behind the mammillary body you can see the part of the midbrain here medially the crust cerebri and this one is a tegmentum of a midbrain this will constitute the cerebral peduncle now behind it there is a narrow cavity which is known as a cerebral aqueduct and behind it the part of the midbrain is known as a tectum of a midbrain now in the posteriormost part of a midbrain you can see the two oval swelling the superior and the inferior colliculus of a midbrain right now below the midbrain this is the midbrain below the midbrain this part is a pons and this is a medulla now here you can see the cerebral aqueduct below it is communicate with the cavity of the fourth ventricle which is a tent cell having the floor which is facing anteriorly which is formed by the posterior surface of the pons and the posterior surface of the upper part of the medulla oblongata whereas the roof of the fourth ventricle is directed posteriorly it will indent going into the white core of a cerebellum now this white core of the cerebellum will form you can see the tree uh, like a, a branching pattern of a tree which is known as a arbo vitae cerebellum now in on the surface of the cerebellum you can see the slit like sulci this one okay slit like sulci which is known as a fissure and in between the fissure the elevated structure is known as a folia that we will see in detail in the cerebellum this is all about the mid sagittal section of the brain thank you if you like this video like it and share with your friends and to get the regular update on the anatomy videos please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon